guys tune you back again this week we're going to do prehistoric isle 2 uh, this is a neo geo shooter uh, this was used that sort of rendering sort of neo geographic style and uh, they're used in some of the games like uh, blazing star and pulse star and stuff so it has dated a little bit but um this looks reasonably quite nice got some nice animations and stuff I say this is a sequel to uh, an SK game that came out in 1989 uh, which is called uh, prehistoric isle in 1930 I used to own the arcade board of that um, years ago because I really loved the original game and the uncommon for owning the arcade board when you plug it into a super gun it's really meant to be put on an, um, an arcade monitor where you can stretch the screen because you end up with a box in the middle of the screen where you, you literally you would use the arcade monitor to stretch the screen out so that's one downside of owning owning the original game on um, on a super gun. But say the original game was uh, two player. Uh, you were basically uh, some ni in nineteen um, nineteen thirty. Some bike planes ended up finding an island uh, with dinosaurs and stuff on. And basically, you fly through six levels, I believe, on the arcade, uh, right to the end and fight the boss. And you basically kill all the dinosaurs. And on the levels, you got like uh, cavemen and stuff. So it's just sort of playing on those old sort of dinosaur monster films from years ago. Uh, like the land of time forgotten stuff like that um but i say 10 years later then in uh, 1999 they came out with this uh this is a sequel to it uh this actually it wasn't developed by snk it was developed by um well, what are they called now uh, I can't, uh developed by saras and it was published by um yamakobo uh but it, it was done obviously for um S and K. Uh, this is two players as well. At uh, this time, they've got rid of the biplanes, and you've got helicopters, as you can see there. Uh, the two helicopters are different. One's got a spread firing, one's got a forward firing. So the forward firing guy does take out bosses a bit easier, and his super weapon, uh, his bomb weapon, shoots straight forward. The guy with the um, spread weapon, the second copter, which I prefer to use, to be honest, as you can see there, has got a spread bomb, uh, which is quite useful as well. So, what we'll do is, there's two different ways of firing in this game, so we'll chuck some credits in. There's two different ways of firing in this game. If you hold, if you tap the button fast, they fire forward. If you hold the button down, it does an auto fire, and then when you move up and down, it sort of, the fire tilts at an angle. But we won't be using that. So, it's simple controls, guys. It's basically just, uh, you fire and bomb. Nice and simple. There, there are power-up icons. There's two different types of weapons per ship. Uh, you've got the G red weapon which tends to be more of a normal shot spread and then you've got more of a the blue weapon tends to be more of a thicker weapon I tend to use the red weapon I, I, I don't particularly know which one's the best to be honest uh, but this one is set later on anyway we can say we're going to go for the second uh, helicopter this one is set later on the dinosaurs have obviously got off the island and they start to attack cities and stuff and um, you are basically flying through shooting them killing them and rescuing people so, if you tap the button, you get this fire, which is like a spread weapon, which you can power up. If you hold it down, you get an auto fire like that, but then uh, this ship you can't do it, it just shoots straight forward. But one spreads, depending if you go forward and back. But we're not going to use that. Uh, we're going to go for the red weapon, because that's the one I prefer. I'm going to put auto fire on, because it, it does make this game a bit easier. Uh, as you play through it, you can, you, um, pick up these little men who hang underneath your helicopter and you've got to take them, hopefully don't die. 
and take him right back to the, the rescue points. You get usually get one rescue point uh, per level. I don't know if you get two, you may do, I haven't noticed anyway. Um, the spread ship as well is a little bit slower than the uh, first helicopter. Not much in it, but it is a little bit slower. I say this game, um, it's got quite, it's got quite nice graphics actually. It's got really detailed sort of that sort of rendered 3D sort of sprites that were made into 2D sprites. Unfortunately, that that technique hasn't aged particularly too well. Still looks pretty fantastic in Pulse Star Mine, but um, yeah, it hasn't aged particularly too well. But there's a, a really nice amount of um, detail in the backgrounds. I say this game was never converted to anything. Uh, it was Neo Geo MVF, MVS only. I don't think it ever got an AES release. I know there is an AES cartridge, but I think it was uh, a copied cartridge. It was something that was converted. I could be wrong on that one. Mind them. If I am, let me know in the comments. But uh, as far as I know, it never actually got a uh, proper AES release. So i got to rescue these ones out so you couldn't fit in the helicopter. So I can take these to a rescue point if I don't die. Yeah, it's a shame this never actually got converted to anything else because um, I was I was a massive lover of the old uh, the first the first game, uh, which used to be almost everywhere around where I live. You'd find it. And I used to play a lot, and like I said, I I, I did get hold of the arcade board a few years ago. I have to say, mind, when I first played this game uh, years ago on the Neo Geo and I seen it, I was really excited that I did part two. And then when I seen it, I was like, oh my god, this game looks shit. And I really didn't like it. I didn't like the look of it. I, I, it didn't like the style compared to the first game. And um, I just, I just literally just didn't like the game. But the more I play it, the more I'm getting into it. And the more I actually quite really like it, Shukumai. I think it's just... It's quite a cool uh, shmup actually. I'm still trying to finish it on one credit, which I haven't actually managed yet. I didn't get quite far in it. Save the two guys from the water. Watch I don't get killed by the dinosaur that comes up. Oh, there's a rescue point. So I drop these guys off. Another thing, once you're actually full powered in this, there's two weapons, you, you can get a sub-weapon, which I've got now, you can see the missiles firing off, and there's uh, quite a few little sub-weapons as you go for the game. Um, but, if you pick up, when you're full powered, if you pick up a power-up, like you can see bonus time has come underneath my uh, player count, that gives you a small time of bonus, when you kill lots of little enemies, you get extra bonus points, and the, and the, um, the multiplier goes up with the more you kill. So it's quite useful even just to keep collecting uh, power-ups even though you're full. Like I say, I, I prefer this spread weapon. Like I say, I don't know whether this spread weapon is actually the best weapon on you, but I quite like the spread weapon. You can see there's a, a lot of detail going on in the background. Sometimes it can be a little bit confusing with the fight, flashing firing <laughs> that's going on by you. So you fight various big dinosaur bosses as you go along. That's the first level done. I say some of the, some of the you know some of the render graphics they do look a little bit dated, but this game plays nice enough. And it's quite cool with the uh collecting the little guys and uh you know getting the little bonuses as well and things like that. And it's got some quite nice sort of varied levels as well to be honest. Uh, the music is quite cool, it's a little bit on the epic side the music is. Yeah, this is where I get when these power-ups now, you'll see my multiplayer start going up the more I shoot. And there's some places where the multiplayer is better than others, especially when we've got a lot of enemies coming on screen. Because you have got to keep shooting them to keep it on the high level. I say it's not too bad even though you haven't got auto fire, but it is handy to have the auto fire. Right, let's get a bonus time again. Should get some nice bonuses off these guys. Yeah, my bonus is going up now. But to keep that bonus, which I'm going to lose it, is hard work. Plus, you've got these um, little stars you keep collecting for extra bonuses throughout the entire game as well. I don't think they drop in price, I think, uh, price, but the, um, in points, I think you get the same points every time for them, but, like I said, I, I could be wrong.
the only thing I say one downside to the sound on this game is some of the um, some of the uh, dinosaur death noises you hear a lot in this game. They could they probably could have toned that down a bit because it's uh, it can get a little bit annoying if you turn the game up loud. It does distract from the uh, the game music to be honest. I say at these points you've got to keep defending. I'll get another sub weapon here now as well. Get my uh, bomb. Do get a little bit of slowdown as you see. I'm gonna get the home in missiles. Power them up quite nice. Oh no! I say he does have a little bit more of a, I suppose a bit more of a cartoony sort of style to it than the original game. The original game is not done in this sort of graphics, it's proper, you know, your proper pixel art 2D sort of game, the original one, but... Oh shit. Nearly had it then. That noise mind with the, um, the dinosaurs, that is actually on the original one as well, but it's, it's not quite so harsh. I think it's a little bit more of a higher tone. at the bottom you've got to be quick to collect. Ooh. I like the little detail as well when you go down they run behind the ship holding the uh I say ship it's a helicopter. Run behind the helicopter sort of holding the rope. So I'm not sure whether the spread weapon is the best weapon on this game mine but um I don't know it's, it's quite useful. I so say I'll play it to see how far I can get on it. On my one credit. There's your little explorer guy. He's found a giant dinosaur on the clock. Kill that dinosaur down there. He's dead. If you're fast enough for your power ups, you can kill it before he actually fires. Here we go. Just point blanket. Oh, he fired. Thought I might kill it before I managed this to fire. That's it. Da -da -da. Just say it's a shame this this game never actually got converted to anything. Probably would have done quite well on the home con on the home consoles. Maybe it was the graphics style that they probably couldn't have done any justice. Probably need a fair amount of RAM to be uh, to actually get the animation and everything working. I think my rope is pretty full actually with uh, guys. So hopefully I, won't, I don't die in and get a bonus. Oh, that was close. Bonus time. This is a good time to pick it up as well. Yeah, perfect that was as well. Shoot these dinosaurs, we are, and rescue these guys. This boss coming up here, I never managed to actually kill this boss without actually using bombs. There's some quite tricky ways he fires. I should learn how to do the boss really. I don't know what sort of dinosaur this is, mate. Some sort of crazy unicorn. Oh, I hate dodging that. It's tricky. I use the bomb next time actually. You're gonna start doing jump attacks. The bomb also makes you invincible, which is uh, quite handy. You use that to good effect for you. Yeah, definitely noticing now the first ship kills this boss a lot faster. Ah, oh, no! 
pushed up slightly and I didn't want to do that. Yeah, you, you, with the first ship you can actually kill the boss before he does those um, firing cycles. Sorry about that guys. I drop tea down myself then. Tell you what, you would think again at 44 I'd learn to drink and eat while dropping it on myself. It's just not happening for some reason. Just can't seem to do it. Right, put my full power up right again now. This level looks quite cool. Quite moody music as well. Come on, slow down, help me out then. So they definitely went a little bit over the top on the render graphics on this one. It's a shame that um, this scrolls a little bit crap, but our back one's rather nice. Oh, the super one, the super one's really good. This is the sub weapon, the super one. Ooh, that was lucky. Then Vince built the help me out then. Ah, no, I got caught with the wing. Oh, I don't. Ah, I was getting him. Should have used my bomb really. I don't, I'm starting to think though that I actually prefer the first ship because it's definitely a little bit faster and it's more powerful. Wipes the bosses up quicker. Right, here we go then. Boss time. So I'm going to use my bombs as a uh, couple of seconds of invincibility on this uh, so I don't get killed. He does ram you after a while, this boss does. Flies over to the top left hand corner and then rams you basically. Use the bomb as invincibility. You can dodge that, but uh, it's a bit close sometimes. All my bonus then as well. So I should keep playing this game. I'm trying one credit. I don't want to keep continuing. So I should just you know continue all the way through really to see what's coming up next to be give me an idea to sort of practice some of it. But I don't. Know, I do quite like playing in uh, on one credit. Good thing about the spread fire, you can get away with uh, staying back quite often. Oh, the dinosaurs on the floor, I want to kill them. I don't want to attack the, uh, the little people. I don't know if I want the missiles, I want the, them missiles, I think we ought. The homing ones are better. The homing missiles are very useful. I saw swings of roundabouts with the um, different ships and the different firing. the screech of the dinosaurs does this guy a little bit overwhelming. Definitely could have done a oh, use that bomb in it. Guess definitely could have done a tone that down a little bit. So I wonder why they never released this on the home version. Don't know whether it was maybe because it was very later in the New Jersey. In 1999 the New Jersey had been out for you know, literally, was it nine, ten years at the time it was actually. So maybe, maybe that's why they didn't release it because they right in the end. And again, they really saw my show on Five Special. 
that came out, and I'm, I'm sure that was pretty uh, late as well. These like wasp creature things were on the original game as well. I'll rescue this uh, little guy. He'll kill this dinosaur over here. I'm gonna rescue before the other one jumps to the trees. Gonna get hit by him then. I'm not gonna fly into that. I don't know what that does. As so you can see, it's, it's a it's a pretty nice game that does grow on you after a while. Like, like I said, I did. I I'd say originally I didn't like this game at all. I thought it was terrible, but it definitely grows on you. No, I actually quite like it. I've been quite well here as well. The old blood swamp. This is where this ship comes in very handy. You've got to watch sometimes collecting these uh, little guys that end up getting you killed. I thought that was a sub boss. Giant bee and a giant wasp to fight now. Got a cave like. <laughs> so if I do ever manage to do a one credit of this game, I'll do um, I'll do a replay of it. Boss soon, I think. I've got four bombs. Right, I'm gonna bomb for safety on this boss. That shell. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try it. Oh, that's close. Oh, oh no! I didn't press a button in time. Nearly. Get my name in it. That's my top score as well. I have managed to beat that boss in one credit and get to the level after. But anyway guys, that's uh, Prehistoric Isle. Uh, I say this this was the second game in the series. The original game came out ten years before. Uh, really love the original game. I don't like the second game as much as the original to be honest. But um, I say the graphics style does, does pull you off a little bit. But when, once you get into it, it it is a really cool game and I would definitely recommend it and it is a bit of a shame it never got converted to anything which uh, you know would have been cool to have this in one of those Neo Geo collections. Like I said there's a lot more to the Neo Geo than just fighting games. Uh, fighting games are quite you know a small part of actually the library of games on the Neo Geo. Um, but yeah the, the sound is, is nice in this but the, you know 
the uh, dinosaurs die in does get in your nerves a little bit to be honest it's a bit it can be a bit jarring after a while and they could have done with cutting the sound effects down a bit on that because uh, you don't sort of appreciate the sort of epic sort of music going on uh, I say he's got quite a bit of last ability to come back to one credit this is going to take a fair amount of practice it is you say he plays nice with the two different ships as well with slightly different sort of playing and weapons and, and specials uh, to each ship as well and you know you get your sub weapons as well you know it's got for a shmup it's got quite a lot to it and like I said it's two player as well so you could blast through it if you wanted uh, it's got some nice bosses um, yeah you know may, you know the 3D 2D sprites which they've done in this may look a little bit dated uh, nowadays but you can see there's a lot of animation and stuff in there and uh, you can see what they were going through and you know they, they made other games with Pulsar being one of the more probably the most epic looking one out of them all to be honest I know Blazing Star came after it but I like Blazing Star but I don't think it looks as nice as Pulsar I think Pulsar looked fantastic for lack of it and I'm pretty sure that was the first game that used that style or at least the first game of a new joke but yeah Prehistoric Gato what would I give it I am going to give it 8 out of 10 because as much as I hated this game the first time I played it I actually really like it and I do find myself coming back and playing this game quite often and uh, I'm still trying to go for that elusive one credit uh, replay on this game as well so I say if you can play on an emulator or if you've got a Neo Geo or just buy uh, you know, a multi-card on Neo Geo or whatever, just give this game a try and you know, stick with it, give it a bit of time and you realise it is actually a pretty cool game. So, hopefully you like the review guys and I shall catch you again when I get uh, five. I wasn't sure whether I'd do a review this week because I've been pretty busy doing festivals with a band. Uh, but lucky enough I had a day off so I thought I'd uh, have to spend a little time and uh, check a sneaky review in. Why not? So guys, see you soon.